See how he's uh, been feeling. Helen caught up with him for a bit of practice. James, this is where it all started for you a couple of years ago, wasn't it? Yeah, um, I entered uh, obviously Blackpool as an unknown person, um, progressed to the final and lost to Philip. So yeah, he got lucky that day, didn't he? Very lucky, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> then, of course, last year, one step further, you won it. Yeah, um, I, I think it must be something about the venue. Um, I love Blackpool. Um, two years ago, when I did get to the final, I, th I thought, what massive achievement. Um, and then, obviously, the year after I won it, beat Sarah yeah. Jenkins in the final. And it kind of proved that you'd arrived as well, hadn't it? Because a lot of people get to a final and then maybe don't do anything for another 12 months, but you've picked up the three, three television titles now. Yeah, I, th I think the way it's been a gradual, slow process, um, I think I was ready for it when it did happen. Mm. Um, and of course, this is the first time that you're coming into a tournament defending a title. So mm. has that felt any different for you, any different approach? Yeah, it's, 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 it's quite a bit different, obviously. Um, people are expecting things from me now. Um, mm. So I need to get up there and try and deliver. Stepped up the practice a little bit? Um, not really. I mean, my practice regime is pretty good. Um, doesn't get much better personally for me than what I already do. Mm -hmm. um, Didn't work. you pop over to Holland for a couple of days? No one's supposed to know about that. Last week? No, I pra uh, popped over to practice of Raymond for two days. Um, How did that go? I can't let you know that much. Did you beat him? I can't let you know that much. It was close. <laughs> you beat him then? No. no. Well, I, I can't say. <laughs> OK, well, we'll wait and see. If you, if you guys meet, then we'll see who comes out on the top there. But let's turn your attentions to your game tonight. You've got Wayne Jones. Now, he's a good player. We all know that, but you've also confessed that. You say that the round one is the sticky one, and Wayne's, if he's on form. Yeah, Wayne, Wayne's a phenomenal player. Um, I've got a hard game, but he's also got a very hard game. Well, he always gets a little bit nervous before matches, does uh, James Wade. Um, Wayne Jones, as we've been hearing, suffering from a bout of food poisoning. He's not been too well behind the scenes. Will it affect the way he plays today? We'll find out as this match unfolds, the conclusion of round one of the match play here in Blackpool. Our MC, John McDonald. Ladies and gentlemen, a very warm welcome. We're live here at the Winter Gardens, Blackpool. Yes, once again, standing room only, the hottest ticket in town. It's the Stan James World Match Play, brought to you by the PDC, the Premiership of World Darts, and live on Sky Sports. It's time to meet our players. Firstly, would you please welcome, from Wolverhampton, it's Woody Wayne Joe. Ladies and gentlemen, it's time to meet the reigning and defending World Match Play Champion from Aldershot, it's the Machine, James Lee! Uh, James Wade smiling normally charges down to the uh, the main stage but uh, look quite comfortable there how difficult do you think Rod it's been for him 
hanging around and seeing all these games go on and waiting till the, the evening session on day three before you even start in this tournament. Oh, he will be edgy. Bound to be edgy. Wanted to get up there, you know, can't wait to get up there. But now he's up there. I mean, this, this young man is a solid player. He doesn't lose silly games no more. And uh, if Jones is going to, you know, beat him, he's going to have to play exceptionally well because I expect a good, solid performance here from James Wade, like he has done for the last year to 18 months. I haven't seen that shirt before. Is that a good idea, changing familiar things when you come up on stage? Um, it doesn't really matter. If you, I think with James now, he's very good in the head. So then changes do not affect him. I think, you know, it's a feel-good factor. If that, if that shirt feels nice and comfortable, you know, it makes him feel better, makes him put, you know, feel better on the stage, makes him play a lot better. Just a, a word about his opponent, because you, you said he wasn't too well behind the scenes. Um, Wayne Jones didn't look too bad as he made his way up. No, he didn't look too bad. He isn't white. He's got a bit, bit of colour in his face. But um, the one thing I, I would suggest he doesn't do is drink the cold water. Mm. The warm water would be far better, or even warm tea. But um, we'll see in the first few legs if he starts to sweat up a bit. You know, or he just shoots off stage quickly. <laughs> then we're going to have a taster of it. Put your place on the sofa. Um, Get yourself something nice and cool to drink. Phil Taylor, Colin Osborne, Kevin Murdine, Mark Walsh to come. Uh, that's in the second round. First round, though, concludes with this. James Wade, Wayne Jones, your commentators, Stuart Pike and John Gwynn. Yes, yeah, so the defence of the title begins. And this man, Wayne Jones, were he to win this, would create the biggest shock in the opening round here at Blackpool. We've had one or two surprises, but Stuart, if... Wood, Woody, as we know him, were to win this, then it would, of course, be one a big victory. Yeah, absolutely. It would be a major, major shock. And, and who would believe, John, that 12 months ago, I'm pretty sure it was you and I who commentated on James Wade's first round match here at the World Match Play against Wayne Jones. Wade, on that occasion, struggled, stuttered over the finishing line, winning 10-7. Five days later, he was crowned champion. Twelve months 16. later, he's also won the World Grand Prix and the UK Open and lost in the finals of the Premier League in Las Vegas. I don't recall either you or me predicting all that in the middle of that 10-7 struggle. 16. And nor should we have done. But how he certainly picked up after that. And here he is, the champion with championship dance. Brilliant, brilliant 180, all neatly embedded in the centre of the treble, 20 bad. Yeah, it'll be, as Rod Harrington mentioned, it'll be interesting to see Wayne Jones over the first three or four legs. I went to have a word with him an hour ago, and uh, he said, excuse me, I've got to go, and he raced off to the loop. He's been sick a couple of times. He's not sure whether it's food poisoning or, or a virus or whether his tummy's off. Uh, worst possible preparation for Jones at the worst possible time. Yeah, but uh, what is a dour character? One hundred and twenty-five. He's already demonstrated that he's given it in a way. Although Wayne wins the first leg with the help of that one eighty.